All right, in this video, I'll be going over obstacle avoidance in Cleario. So here I have um, a simple scene, a sort of architecture, maybe a Villa Palladio type thing. Um, but I see I have this uh, avoid obstacle force. Um, and in it, I feed in uh, each one of these uh, B-reps. So it takes in B-reps, so it's the any shaped obstacle. Um, and it ends up working a lot like the contain force, but kind of in the opposite direction, um, so that they kind of steer away from the tangent of the surface at that point. Um, so they may end up, you know, intersecting with the objects a little bit, so it's not like a bounce uh, avoid obstacle or anything like that. Um, but usually, if you set it up right, you can get pretty good results, um, like here. So here I have the avoid obstacle uh, combined with um, avoid unaligned collision so that uh, they don't rock walk into each other as well as a contain force uh, to keep them contained within that environment um, and then I also have some uh, void forces like alignment uh, separation these are to make sure that they don't run into each other and also the view force um, which says that if there's anyone uh, you know who's kind of blocking my view steer laterally away from it um, so that we don't kind of line up uh, and so that everyone has a clear view ahead of them. Uh, so that's all I really had to say. Um, I'll just let you guys uh, watch this for a little bit longer. You can see the uh, I'm previewing um, the avoid obstacle force here. So you, you can see when it's being applied and you can see the blue arrow come up. using a, a poly service environment actually so the surface that they live on um, is actually here that's their surface so this way when I use the contain force um, it doesn't steer them away from the bottom of the uh, of the b-rep so that they could kind of want to fly upwards all right I think you get the idea um, that's it. I'll see you.